I'm Oscar Ortiz. Uh, I'm from Colombia, South America. Um, I'm here in Concord uh, because uh, I'm part of a program that is called Participate Learning. Um, they uh, basically posted my resume and uh, what I do in Hills Elementary. They saw my resume um, they, um, I, and they liked what they saw and they contacted me to become part of them for the next five years in order to develop a new program here at school uh, based on Hispanic culture. And because they saw that I uh, did that at home, uh, at home I was basically doing the same program, but teaching about worldwide culture uh, using English. Now I'm do doing the same thing, but teaching Spanish and teaching the kids about Hispanic culture. I have always thought that the first thing you have to do when you get to a place is to find a place in which you're going to gather with people who believe in what you believe. And um, I think this was the result of a prayer because there is a teacher in front of my classroom and she heard about uh, me going to church and she told me about the church down the street because I live like two blocks away and she told me about Ashley, Ashley Bryant and it, she was there and she invited me to come to the church so I ended up going to church the first Sunday she told me that she was a member of the church and I've been at Soju ever since. Once I walked into the place I felt at home. I mean, I felt something inside of me that told me that this is the place where you have to be. And uh, so as I said, with words it's hard to explain because it, it comes from within, you know? It's it's in your heart, it's in your soul, and, and it is that feeling that you leave the, I mean, you go into the place, you leave the place, and you live with the feeling that you have to come back. My program is based on Hispanic culture, and what I'm doing is teaching about Hispanic culture and everything related to us as Latin American people and Spanish speakers. And and I've been able to see the families, you know, um, and they speak Spanish. And, and there was something in my heart that told me that many of those families do not go to church and they want to go to church. Uh, maybe the reason they don't go to church is because they haven't found a Hispanic service in the area. And I think that my dream is like, I would like God to use me as a mean to reach people who are not going to church just because of the fact that they do not speak English. So if I can be used in help and serve at church um, as a mean to reach those people and, and to communicate with them, that's like my dream. I would like to see more people coming into church from, from different parts of the world, of course, but the big community here is Hispanic people from Latin America that need this, and, and I feel that in my heart, and, and I've dreamt of it, and, and if someone came to me and told me, hey, come to Sojo, um, but I speak English, what about if we can tell people, hey, come to Sojo, we speak Spanish, and this is also your family, and here is this person who is from this country, so if he is here, you can be here. So that's my dream. I want people to feel what I felt and what I feel.